Welcome, Virginia Madsen. Good to Thank have you with you. us. That was awesome. <laughs> Tell us about making this movie. It's Cameron Mannheim. It's you. It's Wanda Sykes. What an incredibly funny group of ladies. Oh, it, it was a wonderful group of ladies. And, you know, I, I, I just fell in love with all of them on first sight, and we're all still friends. I mean, it was kind of ridiculous. We had way too much fun and got paid for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, I mean, the guys have their movies, you know, and this mm -hmm. is totally a chick. Flick. It really is, but it's got it's 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 so good and it's so funny that it's certainly men will enjoy it. As I feel well. like it falls into the bridesmaids category That's where what where, I was where, say. where yes, it does. men could yes. totally enjoy it just oh, as much. Yeah, Hilariously funny, and then it crosses over. Uh, so the story is essentially that that you're a group of ladies who were a high school basketball team. Were yes. were many <laughs> many years ago. Many years ago. But the team gets back together to yes. raise money for breast cancer and to take the current high school basketball championship team down a notch. Yes, because right? they're mean girls and they're making fun of us for being old ladies. And, uh, and, but one of the girls is Brooke Shields' daughter, so there's a conflict there. And all of us kind of have to go through a journey, if you will. Yeah. And what was it like, <laughs> hey, being in a high, back in a high school, uh, but in a high school gym, well, playing basketball? <laughs> It was, it, it, at first I was sort of a deer in headlights because I never played basketball. I was a dancer right. and I was, and, and I'm like, I'm not athletic that way. And when I got there, the rest of the cast had been in a basketball clinic with professional, you know, female basketball players for about a week. And I walked right onto the set ah. the first day and I was like, yeah, I know how to do that. <laughs> you know, and, but as it turned out, they, they really taught me well and I turned out to be pretty good at it. Like I had a really good you know, shot and I shot my baskets in one take and That's it was great. So maybe there was crossover between your, your dance career Kind of, yeah. And the athletics, I mean, and at least the agility and the balance and everything. That you and, had. and luckily, I, you know, we were all in very good shape before we got to the set. So, you know, all of us were strong enough to go through, you know, running for 12 hours a day. And, and although it was not without, you know, a large amount of ibuprofen and, <laughs> and, and well, ankle one of the wraps things, and, yeah. you know. One of the things I wanted to ask you about as I was doing a little bit of research and looking you up, your life seems to have a string, a common thread of women advocacy. And, oh, yes. And I think yeah, that you're right. Can, I know that you've done a lot of things. Can you tell us why? Did it choose you or did you choose it? Well, I think it's a combination of, of all of the above, really. I mean, I have an, inc I have an extraordinary mother and, you know, I, f I feel that I'm well informed enough to, to speak out on certain issues. And one of the things that I'm doing, which oddly has no connection to the hot flashes, mm -hmm. um, has to do with a condition that some women suffer from post-menopause. And I've been trying to find out as much information as I can, like, you know, because we're all going to be there. Sure. So I'm Never. taking notes. And then oh, I found out that there's this condition called dyspareunia, which causes women to have extremely painful sexual intercourse post-menopause really? and a lot of women are too embarrassed or and it's very common mm -hmm. and they don't really know what it is or they sometimes they don't even talk to their partner and you can imagine how that would affect a, a relationship so I worked um, together with this company Shinogi to make a website called findingthewords.com to help encourage women to find their own words so that they can go to their doctor well informed be, and, and seek treatment. Why do you, you think uh, people in general, and I think women especially, have such a hard time admitting to just to body issues in general? I know that men talking about menopause. Right. You mean? Well, talking about, <laughs> talking it's about even menopause. uncomfortable for JD. Well, talking okay. about menopause, but even men would have, men have trouble talking about erectile dysfunction. Yes. Uh, menopause is a difficult subject. Why do Why do we have so much conflict with our body well, and having honest conversations? I think that this is all a fairly new thing. You know, times are changing and. You know, certain things are just not off limits anymore. And I think, you know, we're not aging the way our grandmothers did or our, or our mothers right. did. And same with the guys. So there's all these different things that are not just like for, you know, to keep Hush in the closet, you know, the, yeah. because you're getting old, yeah. you know, because we're not. It's not, we're not getting old that way anymore. So it's important that we arm ourselves w with as much information as we can. Right. And so, I had no problem talking about it, so I thought, then I will. You know? Then you will. And here I am.